Good morning and welcome back to our channel. So we've got a busy day of odd jobs to do today. Just who else feels like it's a never ending task to get everything done some days. But, so we've got loads to do. So we're just gonna feed these ponies now and uh, get on with it. Good morning, beautiful. You are grumpy when you have your breakfast, aren't you? Good morning, baby. Little legs, back you go. Good boy. You're such a cutie. Good back. Jump, back. <laughs> back. Don't be rude, come back. My little piglet. You are certainly looking a little tubby, Gambler. It's not an ad or anything, but I was gifted this the other day for Champ. Champ can be a very hot, sharp, fiery Welsh Section D. Calming powder, just to see with his back issues whether we can get him just to calm down, focus on me more so he can lift his back and work properly. So he's been on this for, must be about two weeks now because he's done the loading dose. And um, a few days after. So we will see very soon whether that has any effect. I love his drama that comes with Champ, but I do just need a little bit more focus from him. But I'm taking him out um jumping oh, i dread to say it because i hate jumping but he loves it so i'm taking him out jumping hopefully very soon so we'll see what this does to him whether i've used the calming cookies before and they work really well on willow but champ wouldn't even eat them but he's eating this so give it time when we get him out we can really find out then whether this works or not I'm just gonna turn these three out now and uh, the muck out and ride Willow before he goes out because I need these three to have had their five minutes of madness before Willow goes out. Uh, ready? Yeah, good boy. For a fact, he always goes down for a roll. This is the uh, weather where they actually do need their lightweight turnouts on because he would get up absolutely filthy. But it's still too warm for him, they just get sweaty. But look at him. Good job he's not being ridden until later. But um, him and Gambler will be clipped before the end of September, so then they can have their rugs on. Suspects that Gambler has a roll today. He very rarely rolls in the field. He's such a clean one. If you're going to turn out without a rug, it'd be Gambler you want to do. But 
I'm going to ride him later. It'll be the first time I've ridden him in weeks because he's my son's pony and being off school for six weeks, he's been riding him. So, you know for a fact, because I want to ride later, he's going to roll and be absolutely filthy. We'll owe him for a minute and just whilst I muck out a couple of beds and then we ride him and turn him out. I don't like riding them straight after their dinner, so give him half hour to let his uh, breakfast go down and then we get on him and turn him out. He's still laying. If you've not seen the previous video, he slipped or something from the field and he's uh, done something to his back, but he's still not right. So I've been on the phone to the physio yesterday and I've just sent her another video of him trotting up um, to see what she says. But she says to still, she said yesterday to still keep him in work and turn out because it is just the muscle which she thinks he's done his deep groin muscle and it can take weeks to heal so um i've just got to ride him in straight lines in walk and just build it up over time but so the only option that i've got to ride him today because i've got a barbecue area that i could ride him in but she doesn't want him on surface she wants him in straight lines um, so the only option I've got is to take him down the trackway today, up and down there, just for 10 minutes, because I can't hack him out today. We've got amazing hacking around here, but I've got to cross the main road to get there, and I don't want to do that whilst he's not feeling 100%, because if anything spooks him, of course we run the risk of him hurting himself even more. So usually I'll box him up in the horse box and just take him five minutes up to the up the road to the local cross country course and just walking around there but I haven't got the horse box today so I haven't got any other option than up and down this trackway but it's better than nothing so just needs to be on ridden on a hard ground and that's the only thing we've got so let's get them tacked up
uh, Hizzle ridden, which riding him before he gets turned out of the morning at the moment as well to try and stop or reduce the risk of naughtiness when he gets turned out because we think what he's done, well, this is the hardest head colour to do, one-handed, we think what he's done is just walk, walk, walk. Um, that's good. We think what he's done is just basically done the splits in the field and hurt himself. So we've got to try and reduce that. But yeah, I put the other lot out. First thing, so they can have their mad five minute run around. Then he gets ridden, just 10 minutes. But try and take the edge of the energy out of him so he can be turned out and just go out like this because they want movement to try and help it. But he is definitely a bit, a little bit sore. If you like what you see, then please boop the like button. Beds are all mucked out now, Willow's ridden, so I'm just going to poop at this field. Luckily, where, well, Donut's still a cult, but <clears throat> where Champ and Gambler were also cut late, Stallion's quite territorial and poo on top of other poo, so they usually just poo just in this corner, although it seems to have been churned up with the mud, and down this fence line. So it makes poo picking this field so much easier. So it gets done every couple of days anyway, because you can't see it, nothing in the middle, so it always looks good. But yeah, I love it. Just this side, it's absolutely perfect. Yeah, Willow, um, don't know much about his history. He was gelded at some point in his life, but it was never actually recorded in his passport. When we bought him, we had to um, get him assessed to make sure he was gelded, but he poos everywhere, so it makes it harder. But we'll do the easy one today. done for the morning all these will stay out for the day and uh, I'm just gonna go home I've got a phone call meeting and I've got to finish editing tonight's vlog before it is meant to go live at five o'clock so um, if you haven't that should be up by the time you see this so if you haven't go if you haven't seen that go and check that out that's uh, Lewis and Gambler at the little local show where they come reserve champion. Hello champ. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I've got a meeting, got some editing to do and then we'll be back down this afternoon to uh, lunch champ. He's going to be ridden, uh, lunged in the Pessoa. Um, he's got to do that once a week, so we'll do that later and then I will ride Gambler be the first time I've ridden him in a few weeks so we'll see what he makes of that one because uh, Lewis has been riding him whilst he was on summer holidays but now he's gone back to school I get to get back on Gambler and I'm not doing nothing with Donut tonight Boys are all in now. I like to give them a good 15, 20 minutes in um, to have a wee before we do anything. So, because Champ and Gambler will always have a wee as soon as they're brought in. So, we're just gonna brush them off and put the sewer on him and take him out in the, I'm gonna take him in the field today. Hopefully the ground's dry enough now that it's not slippy, but it just gives him a bit more space out there um to work properly. Hey, just get you ready. Once a week now. Um it was three times a week but it's down to one now on physio's instructions. And if you don't know about Chuck's journey, he had a saddle that actually didn't fit him. 
um, for very well. It was fitted to him, but didn't fit him for very long at all. So it made him go on, walk on. Arch his back and um, become really dipped back. So he had nearly a year off of work um, due to various reasons and everything. So we're now on the final stretch of getting him to lift his back. So what the sewer does is makes him engage his hind end, which will in turn get him to lift his back and drop his head. So he goes in this just once a week just to try and help him muscle up the boy. Job done. Good boy. Yeah. And walk. The boy will come. Trump. Okay. Good boy. Go. Good boy, go. Here's Houdini. You can't leave him up for any length of time at all because this is what he does. Look, he's clever. He links that rope over the ear and pulls the head collar off. You're an absolute nightmare, champ. Aren't you? No. Too clever for your own good. Just gonna trim Gamby's face. I mean, Louis got sunshine tours this weekend, so I always like to give myself a couple of days before the show to get them all trimmed up. So then, if I find any loose hairs, I've got plenty of time to sort them out. So I'm just going to do his face and um, rake his tail, and then I ride him. Eat them. So I'm uh, just going to go ride Gamby now and we'll see what we can video of it. But um, as I say, I haven't rode Gambler for ages because he is my youngest son Lewis's horse and they've done everything with each other all summer holidays. 
so but now Lewis is back at school I'm gonna get on Gambler he's uh, we don't work on much for Gambler just um, we're, all we're gonna work on today is like walk trot transitions just get him a little bit sharper to try and help Lewis because Gambler is a bit of a lazier horse but we don't want to liven him up too much um, because Lewis is only 12 and he's not the most confident rider so but he loves Gambler and they do work hard together but I'm just gonna try and make it a little bit easier for Lewis to get what he asks for first time. I don't know how much riding gambler we would have got because um, the Pivo shut itself off because my battery is too low. So um, now you've got his glorious ears, but I'm just gonna finish riding him. So I am going to end this vlog here. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you.